Thank you. Oh, you're pretty kind. Hey kids, welcome to the Dr. Steele Show. I do so appreciate you joining me here today. And before we begin, I'd like to introduce you to this fantastic product from World Domination Toys. Let's take a look. It's the Buzzsaw Baby. He's got real rotating saw blades and all proceeds go directly to the Dr. Steele World Domination Fund. Yes, the more merchandise that you buy, the sooner I will be able to take over the world. So it goes to a good cause. Let's check our current total. Seven dollars and twenty-six cents. Dr. Steele, you have a caller on line one. Ah, smashing. A consumer. <laughs> yes, hello, you're on the air with Dr. Steele. What? No, I'm not. <laughs> yes, yes you are. You're on the air, hello. I was calling about the wonderful beanbag babies. Great, fantastic. How many have you purchased? Oh, I have nearly three hundred of them. I have biscuit and dainty and snowflake, and all I need is little pudding the sea lion next. Wait, did you say buzzsaw babies? What? Did you say buzzsaw babies or beanbag babies? I said I need little pudding the sea lion next, and then my collection will be complete. Ma'am, do you know who you're speaking with? Yes, I'm calling the Home Shopping Club. No, you're speaking with Dr. Steele. You've called the World Domination Toys Hotline. Lies. I once bite beanie baby. All I need is little pudding, the blue and white baby sea lion, and my collection will be complete. My entire guest room will be filled with beanie babies, and I can finally sleep knowing that I have every last one of those viciously collectible little bean filled. <clears throat> right, well, now it's time to. Feed the hamster! Feed the hamster! <laughs> Hello, time to eat, little guy. Time to wake up. Up and at him. Wakey wakey. Eggs and bacon. My experiment was a success. New hamster. Steel, you're the smartest man of all. Can you tell me where shoes come from? Ah, well, let's take a look. Our story begins here, in the island mountains of Guatemala. The local villagers farm muckluck beans, which are harvested and gathered by orphan children. The beans are then systematically fed into complicated beaning machines that squeeze the crude bean into refined shoe oil. The shoe oil is then routed into the main footwear reactor vats where the pump operator signals for the pre-lacer to carefully hand feed shoelace into the loading tube. The shoelace is then routed and fed into the main lacing unit by squirrels. The laces are woven into place and the soles of the shoes are sent for twirling by the wacky backy roundabout machine in 2000. This pair is getting the popular banana pudding treatment. The final touches are performed and this trackable handmade banana camera shoe is ready to be worn, loved and paid for by thousands of shoeless victims of corporate America. And that's how the shoes are made. 
Well, that concludes today's episode. Tune in next time, and remember, only you can help me take over the world. <laughs> so, do keep those donations coming. Still at $7.26. Nice. Well, goodbye, everybody. 